What is up and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, I am Cody Pratt, aka Random Hero. Tattoo aftercare is easily the most important thing after a new tattoo. I know that I have a couple previous videos about tattoo aftercare and there are plenty of resources on the internet. But the question I want to look at today is can you over moisturize a tattoo? Well, that is a great question, and we're going to look at that starting right now. So why is tattoo aftercare so important? Well, for starters, you are healing an open wound. And then roughly 24 to 48 hours after you get the tattoo is when the healing process starts. And lotion is an extremely important tool in that process. The lotion can keep your skin hydrated. It can help prevent scabbing, peeling, and flaking. Lotion also promotes healing within the skin cells. And it can even help with the itching. All right, so how often should you moisturize then? That is a great question. And what myself and other artists do recommend is roughly one to two times a day. And with that, you can do once in the morning, once in the evening, and preferably after a bath or a shower. And it's important to remember with lotion that it should be fragrance free and you should only be applying a paper thin layer. All right, so let's finally answer the topic question can I over moisturize my tattoo? And the short answer is yes, you can. But let's dive just a little bit deeper. You see, some people think that if you constantly have lotion on your tattoo, that it'll heal quicker. But there are quite a few problems with putting a thick layer of lotion on or applying every hour. The problem really is that your tattoo won't be able to dry and heal. And essentially, you are suffocating your tattoo. And honestly, there are other risks of using too much lotion. You are creating a very moist and good environment for germs and bacteria. And too much lotion or aftercare product can also lead to infection or inflammation. And you may even notice with excess lotion and moisturizer that your skin will start to break out. But if you have been over moisturizing or over hydrating your tattoo, don't worry because there is a way to fix this. The first thing you want to do is get some clean paper towel. And with that, you want to wipe off the excess lotion or aftercare product. Do it gently. If your skin is tender or has been starting to scab up, you don't want to rip any of that off. And now you're just going to let your tattoo rest and dry out. Don't put any more lotion on it. Try not to cover it up and let it air dry the best you can. And you're not going to apply any more lotion for the rest of the day. Then the next day, start using lotion again as I recommended earlier in this video, which will be once or twice a day, preferably in the morning and the evening, and then after you've showered or bathed. And then lastly, here's some extra bits and pieces of information that are good to know. Do not use any petroleum-based products. Personally, I think they suffocate your tattoo, and people usually don't put a thin enough layer. And petroleum-based products are like your Aquaphor, Vaseline, A and D ointment. You can also really use any moisturizing, fragrance-free lotion. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I prefer Lubiderm or Cocoa Butter. And then for aftercare products, I definitely recommend Mad Rabbit or Lucky 13's Tattoo Balm. After you wash your tattoo, remember, you should be washing your tattoo about three times a day with warm water and soap, that you have to pat it dry fully before applying your lotion. Remember that your tattoo is an open wound and you do have to take care of it and pay attention to it. Remember that you are going to see your tattoo scab up and you may think that it's drying out. It's not. Let it be. If you've already applied your lotion, it's all right. Remember that if you don't use lotion, you are putting a lot at risk for the healing process. And I know we went over dry healing in a previous video, which involves not using lotion, but dry healing should only be done at the recommendation of your artist. And it's really only used if you have allergic reactions to lotions or a lot of the major chemicals in lotions. 
And also, I want to make sure you don't get over moisturizing and wet healing confused. Those are two very different things, and we will definitely go over wet healing in a future video. And lastly, always remember that if you have any questions at all, don't forget to ask your tattoo artist. It's what they're there for. It's kind of what you also paid for is for their help. It's their art that is on you, and they want it to heal well. But you can also always reach out to me, and I'll be more than happy to help. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever over moisturized a tattoo and what you did to fix it. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and give this video a like. As always, you can help out this channel by clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications when we come out with new videos on tattoo advice and tattoo education. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Again, I'm Cody and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.